All right, just a quick uh, intro to the climb info for your response question. It's the same as always. You have the choice of writing it out on paper or typing it up in Eclipse. Again, if you type it up, know that stuff might not compile because they don't give you reference to all the code. There are help videos again, uh, parts A, B, and C. Again, try them as best you can and only use these when you really get stuck. One uh, thing to note about this one, um, it does have a part C that's a little weird where it's not actually having you code, it just has you like think through a scenario. And I think all you have to do is answer A and B, uh, yes or no to these, sorry, not A or B, but one or two here based on looking at this code. So that's kind of, uh, it's just a little bit different, but sometimes they do have you write out descriptions instead of code. So this one's just kind of answering a yes, no question. And then as far as the code itself goes, just a reminder, you have uh, as many of these do, you have a private variable that you can access throughout the methods, and then you actually have to add, do an add climb method in two different ways. Um, so it's kind of a weird, weird deal. Note that again, the, the actual array list would be, um, you know, would be created here in the constructor, and so you just have to access it in these two add climb methods. Um, I think that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, you'll have a climb info object that you'll be using. It would look something like this, right? It would have a time and a name of the peak and how long it took. And it would just be set, yeah, you know, you'd pass it in to create it. All this is given to you, I think, in the, in the code um, or in the description. So, start off with uh, the description found here, right? Read through it, um, give it a shot, and then let me know if you get stuck and upload your work when you're done. All right. Thank you and good luck.